And I just stood there watching the ambulance, you know, paramedics and I didn't see the young man breathing. The scene was heartbreaking. A 15-year-old lifeless on a street in the Portland neighborhood. And just one street over, the victim's friend, a 16-year-old who ran after he was hit. Police say both teens were shot inside a car at 25th and Bank Street around 11.30 Thursday night. The quickness of the firing, and there was a rat-a-tat type sound, and I realized that was not firecrackers, that had to be gunshot. But neighbor Jeanette Crawford said what she heard next was even worse, the sound of a mother who had lost a child. And I heard a lot of wailing, wailing and howling in mourning, and I felt so sorry for that person. The mother was basically saying, you know, God, please, not my son, not my son, don't take my son. They actually brought in a second ambulance to take the mom to the hospital. They said they'd probably have to sedate her. She was too frantic. That neighbor who asked not to appear on camera says she saw something else too. What appeared to be a group of teenagers taking off running just moments after she heard gunfire. There were six kids, all dark clothing. They just kind of flew right past my yard, getting away. Police have so far not commented on any suspects, but neighbors like Beverly Hubbard hope there will soon be arrests and some peace. I don't know. I just wish they had just put the guns there. I don't know what's going on, baby. And as you just heard, Rick Jennifer, police have not yet commented publicly on suspects, but I did talk with several neighbors, that woman whose identity we concealed, and there were several neighbors that got a good look at what they believe are the group of the teenagers is responsible. They have cooperated with police. We also know that police got their hands on some surveillance video from that block. Reporting live for you tonight from LMPD headquarters, I'm Lauren Adams, WLKY News.